map of Icebox. Fnatic on the defense ascend with a very fast push to this B site. It is indeed very quick in its pace as it's a center start off cleanly picking up two kills. Boaster holds his ground over and long and he will do so yet again. The fire with the boom bot will help Fnatic to get themselves a numbers advantage. But wait, Boaster will need quite some time to find himself close to the B site again after taking the TP. Luckily with Bion being such a short map, he can be much quicker into the action again. Like butter, baby. Stark so. Able to find the first shot. Pain Shields maybe to conceal a fire's position unless doing damage towards Stark. So bullets do come through though. Or breaking. Distracting enough for Senior to fall. Our fire. Doing a pretty good job of it so far. Stark, so they know of its position and they need to move in quickly and start touching that spike. Spotting out the bullet to the head. It's going to be the fuse. Is it going to be stuck with? It will be attempted to at least, but Stark, so is good enough to react to it in time. That's Ascend with their first pistol of this series. With KO instead of the sky. So uh, kind of trying to match what Fnatic have been doing for the past few months, ever since their Astra used to be relevant in the meta. Ascent should be falling quickly in this round, given they've also lost an early player. But, that being uh, said, they've got quite a bit of ground here in Lamps, Pavlos. That is very true, which means that Fnatic need to be cautious. Orbital Strike may be their way into this round, and it does seem like it has gained quite a bit. Kills go their way, Sight has been exposed, and the spike will be going down for Ascent. This could be worrying Fnatic. Losing this would destroy their confidence. And that incendiary will put them into a corner where Alpha yet. They have an opportunity to take over. Not having Lance control for the attackers here is uh, costly. Any of these instances. But there's a crossfire for the Ascend players. Can they be picked apart? I'll fire. Might be able to do it single-handedly, actually. And that's exactly what he does. Mystic wants to join in for the final second, for the final kill. And that's Fnatic finding themselves on the scoreboard. Oh, they falling back to the safety of the site. Fnatic comfortable to leave most of their powers to, to, to be, which probably is the wrong decision. Granted, the Sen's attack, Lamp Control, is now theirs. The main focus is to conceal the site and get Spike down. Shows up a shown bar for yeah. It might run out with a kill. Stark so is very low, and the Painters might be finishing the job. With that satchel oh, finding it. the upper ground, it is perfect. The teammates are now arrived, buying perfect amount of time to cross now to that teleporter. And Mystic won't be able to read it in time. His realized the cross has come through. Slow up towards spawn. At least they may, this may guarantee a part for Ascent. Starks are trying to lurk, but Alfea is already anticipating it. This is going to be a fight on a completely opposite side of the map, which may just make this retake start even quicker. And it may even increase the odds of Fnatic taking down this B site easier. Although Starks are taking the TP will quickly fall by Mystic. Solid, solid performance this round. Getting a double. And with the spike being touched, Roxy is left stranded, really. Uh, traveling in the corridors of Elbow. And we'll see this round to the end. Looking to survive with a rifle as Fnatic. Don't actually... the round. Not the openings or the uh, trades from Durka and Alpea. <laughs> of Durka, course, the, together, of course, the second line. I say that, right? <laughs> Huge yeah, opening from Durka. Tour de Force revealed. And the rest of Ascend now, with three players on long, go through that teleporter becomes a very viable option, especially at risk of going up against Durka, who has a readily available Tour de Force. And it feels like Fnatic have definitely figured out that, yeah, our best chance in this is to set uh, set Durko up, right? Set him up for success. Yep. So, I mean, alt for alt here, really, it just maintains Fnatic advantage. So I'd say worth for Fnatic in the end. Yep. You also bait out that so resurrection as well from Ascend. Strong stuff from both teams so far. We're really seeing the sort of nit of strategy come into play here. Seekers get deployed here. That's just going to affirm to Fnatic that this is still a heavy stack to long. Ascend haven't committed to the rotations just yet, which means Durka can hold the wider angle. Being a stack to long as well means that they need to pay attention to that long area. If you look at Elphia's position, it is accounting for that. They know Ascend by a snap of the fingers can quickly find themselves to the other side of the map. Of course, left. no challenge comes Durka's way. It all comes towards the B site. It's Mystic holding down the line, and it's good enough for a trade. That's what they need, and that's what they will get. And through the smoke, though, it's actually Leo to fall. Over-aggresses, and now has to pay for it with his life. Ascend got, may have a chance, but they're running out of time, and of course they need to... Take some chances with a limited time they had available to them, which um, means Fnatic. To the same effectiveness as Durka. But for the time being, Durka has a very, very aggressive angle. One he utilizes to perfection. But the rest of us said now, once again, 
stuck in long. I'm getting a sense of deja vu here, Pavlos. I am as well. Um, you know, the, the, the trying to trade out over in Hooker hasn't worked out for a cent at all so far this game. Not even early in the rounds. Not even when Durka is not hiding there. Feels like it's a game of chess, isn't it? Instead of made a move, Fnatic, they respond. And the response to long control is take Hooker. Look where Boaster is. <laughs> like, Fnatic are just playing this textbook. They always switch up their cards a bit to make sure we send up always in the dark. Love this uh, attention to detail and fundamental play by Fnatic. Send having a tough time. Last match they played against each other was on Haven and this is looking nothing like it. Ooh. Fnatic in full control of this round. And mind you, this is a sense by round. This is one yep. they should be very heavily contesting. They've only lost a player early and 30 seconds, seconds remaining. This is where they need to find an advantage. Look at that util combo as well. So much damage comes out instantly. And the plant just can't be converted. The only advantage they could find is by the push towards Lamp. Xenad has made himself out of there and got an early kill. Is this enough space to get the spike down? Mind you, a lot of utility has been expended towards this. Incendiary making sure nobody pushes through the smoke. Leo falls, which gives an advantage back to Ascend. But no, Boast and Tucker deny that opportunity and say, we are the ones in command. We are the ones that can take this over. Roxy with a fully compromised position, will have to fall, and Fnatic continue streaking round after round. Six. Now well, back. Trying once again for this bit of hookah control. Out comes a showstopper, and we find to see it work. Big whiff from Boaster. Instantly punished Pavlos. Back. Definitely taking care of Boaster there, but he himself has hurt himself. Mystic. Just now seen it. Quite an important pick up to get. Right. Obviously, with that Viper Spit, the Endeavor does toughen up for Fnatic. So spread out across, but let's see how they organize this retake. Viper Spit taking back the main entry. Two players off of an elbow position, but it's a crossfire setup. It's tough one. Starks is also elevated. So this makes the Endeavor even more difficult. Guiding Light revealing there's someone there, but how many are there? Both close to the wall, inching it closer but closer. Starks, although, make sure that there's bullets in their heads. And Ascend finally get around. They put Fnatic going to do everything in their power to stop them, of course. Early use of that Viper Spit, realizing that Ascend loved this non control. But they've never ended up getting too much of it. Wow. So much expanded into that one. All but a strike as well. They still get the kill. That's what they wanted. That's what they get. But they haven't really found their way onto the site yet. And Fnatic have got two players to the back line of the B site. I don't really know what Mystic can do with only a judge here in Uka, though. That's a bit worrying for the time being. Stocks is going to try and push him. Is he? Is he really? Both the blind as a bat. And Monster will be able to take care of him. One by one Fnatic drop. Ascend start to find their rhythm. And it seems there's not much the Fnatic players can do. Mystic looking to go for some heroics with the Judge in hand. A fire from far away. Dinks ahead, but doesn't find the kill. Ascend on four. They're closing up this gap. We first match on Icebox didn't really meet expectations, but now this is the chance to shine. Our fire. He stopped this one before, but he had a showstopper when that, that, that instance happened earlier. And we'll end up falling quickly. Sent with a spike down. Vag pushes even further. They're feeling themselves and they're playing aggressive. And Fnatic can't account for it that far. Leo doubles up. Maybe Sen get overconfident and over push and end up paying it with their lives. Leo finally falls, but Mystic has found the time to push towards shore. Durka, can he draw his trigger in time? He can. And it's down to Monster. Seeker will reveal the direct position of him. Spray comes through, but Durka is there to stop and Fnatic come off on top once again. And oh after no, him. anyway. <laughs> Oh, Ascent. no. Um, <laughs> I, we should bring Ginny in for a tricast at some point, because that's fun. Online tricasts don't really work, but we'll Spectre. make it work. We'll have her to make, you know, uh, Twitch chat noises, as in, uh, yay, PogChamp. Okay, I won't say that one again. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hope that silence gave you a very, a very valuable lesson, Mavlos. Ascent. <laughs> 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 They've got hookah control to worry about. Fnatic, they are. This is all a big ruse, though, a big bamboozle. And instead, they're getting ready to hit this A site. Roxy, oh, despite the low HP of Durka, he's happy to fight. Despite Fnatic being a man down, they're happy to fight as they get ready to dive into this A site. Spike will go down in just a moment. Ascend already have quite a strong setup to go into the retake, though. 
Yeah, it's a very good placement of them, and they want to take full lamps control, but Fnatic reacts so quickly to it! Do they know there's one player left, though? Do they know that Stark so is nearby? Boasters definitely spotted that out, and Sinjiri will be delaying it. They're down in health, remember? They can quickly be taken back, and the reload from Stark so can help them finish the job. And look at Ascend. They're on their heels. They're right behind them, really not giving them any space to breathe, but Boaster and Mystic get the kills! They get it done! Mystic looking for the plants. Will it come out on time? Guarding light! Oh, the spike is down! It's down to Durka. He hasn't got any health, but he's Got him one kill and sound a monster. Woo! Spray down. How was Zerka alive? Now he's dropped to classic. Oh my lord. Monster oh. through the wall. Zerka oh. oversteps as welcome and ascend. Get the pistol. To, the, to their unfortunate turn of events, Fnatic, as soon as that guiding light was expended, they start to move in. Vac, will he be spotted here? It seems like Alpha, yeah. Oh, won't be expecting it. Oh. And neither will Mystic. The one and opener by Vac. Fnatic, can they bring it back? Boaster taking down Monster, but is it good enough? Vac has done so much so far, and Fnatic are running out of utility and space to get the spike down in time. In an orthodox position to make sure that they can get the spike down, but they don't get it. 20 seconds, and Fnatic are under so much pressure. Vac now appears out. Durka finds one, but he's got two more to deal with. Oh my what? goodness! What? Seen and got deleted! And Duck has bought himself on a 1v1 against Stark, so... Oh, oh my, my god! Goodness! Ducker! <laughs> what? Oh human! Oh my god! Lord have mercy on the souls of the players who dare peak Ducker for a cent becomes a charge of the Lightweight Brigade. I'm I'm you have to I'm be kidding me, man. This is not real. He really didn't just do that. Let's have a look at that one. Oh my god. god! It doesn't get any more, oh any less entertaining god. after seeing uh, lead, right? Without yeah. even being traded. And Durka went and killed. <laughs> Durka went and killed. He's blessed with Da Vinci vision, Pavlos. <laughs> He's probably almost used it there against CD. Okay, well, he, he must have used it all Look, in that round because he, that did, he ran out of it this All way. that did was prove he's mortal. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah, that is true. He's, he's not as a coin flip player as I am when I'm playing uh, matchmaking. That is true. Yeah. Can I continue it? Leo chimes in. It's oh, like, okay. even if Durka dies, there's another uh, there's another member of the Legion of Fnatic ready to chime in. Makes you question whether a send over a crest there and overstep their welcome. Potentially, potentially. Flash for Stark, so, but I don't think the confidence is there to go through it. Seekers definitely finding out on the positions. Leo just presses the D key while shooting to make sure Starco can't pre-fire his positioning after the Seeker. That was very smart of him. That microplay does put Fnatic ahead. Monster trying to bring it back, shutting down his opposing Viper. Roxy caught in a crossfire. And if Fnatic play the trade game, this should all well end well for them. Mystic with an early showstopper, and he's not going to push it. This is actually very smart. He finally does, and that's the round. Fnatic toying with Ascend. I've got double the amount of rounds they do, and I match points at the same time. I mean, Dirk is just faking. <clears throat> Look at all the control he's garnered. Look at this B long push, though, Roxy. It's going to be checked. But Roxy doesn't care. Remaining. He's done it before, Ooh. and he'll do it again. Down, Perfectly please. done. Yeah, this is a sense round. This very much is a sense round. Leo trying to do more damage. They're running around after him. Left. Poor man is on the hunt. Well, he's not on the hunt. He's being hunted. I guess being on the hunt, but under a different context. He's hunting for safety. He's hunting mm -hmm. to manipulate. Try he's and hunting. well, try and fight for it. Seen it does stick around. Durka, wide on the angle. Seen it come out on top. The benefit of playing Sage is that you can heal yourself, and that's exactly what Seen yep. does. That's actually the purpose of the Sage heal. Uh, doesn't work. <laughs> on, it's not not designed for teammates. As a monster. I, is that how you play Sage? <laughs> uh, that, that's the reason I don't play Sage. Actually, yeah, that's probably it. Ah, fair enough. bites by so much time. They do. They do. Fnatic haven't entered the site just yet. As soon as they run out, though, Sky Smokes will drop. Fnatic find their way in. Our fire misses his satchel and he can't quite find the high ground, but he finds himself in the smoke and Monster's able to take him out. Spike will be going down, but how many kills can Fnatic find here? Mystic out of the shadows, able to find one. Starkso bring things back for his team ascent. Have got the advantage in numbers, but for how long? Starkso comes across the site on the wow. back as well, shoots Leo in the back, and ascend are still in this game as well. Now, 
on the delay and the space you can just claim for yourself without putting yourself in two of an advantageous a disadvantageous position. Now, a couple of sky yep. smokes drop. Fnatic do get the cross towards this A site. Spike will be dropping, perhaps, but no. Instead, they want to clear out the rest of the site first. Mind you, they've left lamps inoccupied, but Ascend is still wary of it. Viper's pit dropping, and it seems they're going to focus to the right-hand side of the site instead. Remember, they're down in numbers, therefore one more loss would be very bad for them. Orbital Strike comes through, and both the falls, and that's the spike as well. Is that good enough? Durka. Oh, Durka again! This is what Fnatic need! Mystic Ooh. joining in with the singer. Is this really the round with Fnatic win it? Is this really Leo, how they close this out? Leo closing out the distance with the back. And now it's all down to Roxy. Looking to spray. But he's shown his ground, man. He's shown exactly where he stands. Out he goes. And Durka shall stop him. Fnatic, they close out the tournament. BME Superdome is theirs. A hard-earned victory. They slowed their way to get here. But let's be honest, Pavlos, it's been a good while since we've seen Fnatic A be so dominant and B go through an entire tournament only losing one map, Pavlos. In the grand finals, they lose less than 15 rounds total. Absolutely